a lot of his evidence probably came from earlier periods when the Fed was tightening in response to extreme new evidence on inflation. And right now, uh, from January to January, we had deflation in the United States. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little skeptical that they really are going to tighten soon because we see an automatic tightening in the U.S. because of the appreciation of the exchange rate. That's like a tightening. And it seems to me that maybe they will be slower. Um, but if, now the other thing is, if they do tighten, you were saying that that should bring on a recession. Uh, I think it's possible. I don't know what the, uh, that it um, has any clear uh, implication. If, if they're tightening it like they talk about, they're going to raise the federal funds rate by 50 basis points. It's still going to be low. Uh, so it's, it's not obvious that this is a harbinger of a, of a recession. Uh, first of all, my own personal portfolio is joint work of me and my wife. Okay? <laughs> uh, and I don't want to make it particularly an example for other people. But on the other hand, I'll, I will say that I am still invested in stocks all over the world. I think the I, I'm downplaying the United States somewhere. I think it's highly priced. Europe is better priced. Asia is better priced. But, but I still own U.S. stocks. Uh, I own some bonds, some real estate, real estate around the world, not not particularly in these boom areas that. Uh, uh, and I own commodities too, oil. I've been contrasting here the idea of expert systems versus expert thinking. Similar sounding idea, but a system is unresponsive to new kinds of evidence. It's based on statistical theory. There's advantages to that, that you, you can uh, avoid attentional biases. You can av if you have a system of investing that's long standing, you can avoid being drawn into the uh, attentional biases that other people have. Uh, but we can miss uh, new or unconventional data. Expert thinking, I'm saying, exploits the theory of mind. This is a term used by neuroscientists now, that the human mind tends to focus on trying to figure out what other people are thinking. We're always forming a theory of other people's minds. And this turns out in human affairs to be a very important faculty. Uh, so you learn by looking at people and understanding what they're thinking uh, and learning from multifaceted historical experience. So I'm just going to conclude and open this to question, but I'm sorry that I may not have given you a definitive answer whether you want to use expert systems or expert thinking. I guess my answer is both. <laughs>